Are you earthing and grounding and using the outlet to ground? Well, you probably have heard about dirty electricity and we're gonna dive right in today and talk about dirty electricity, what that really means and how to check for it and what you can do about it. This is very important because this is causing some illness in a small percentage of earthers and grounders. So let's dive right in and let's get started. This is my setup. I have an oscilloscope, which I'll put in the description below, so that for those who want to test themselves can actually buy this on Amazon. It's about $100. This oscilloscope is grounded outside using this cable here. This is an earthing grounding rod, which I put into the ground outside, and I live on the second story, and the cable is 40 feet, so I can actually just drop it over the windowsill and then close the window onto the cable without any problems. This is the oscilloscope Pro, and I have two earthing cables here. One earthing cable is connected to this outlet ground, and you can see that this outlet is grounded or this outlet strip is grounded because these two orange lights light up. Now the problem is these can fail a significant percentage of time. These outlet checkers are not completely accurate and that's the problem. Roy Cook in our earthing and grounding forum on Facebook, which you should join if you haven't, we have nearly 50,000 people in that group and we give advice to each other about earthing and grounding. I'm one of the admins in that group. Roy Cook is a former master electrician and he has inspected over 4,000 homes in his career. He says that less than 50% are actually wired correctly. So just because this outlet checker lights up as being accurate or that the wiring is accurate, this does not mean that the outlet is actually safe for human grounding. So therefore, if you are using the outlet to ground and you feel ill, fatigue, headaches, insomnia, body aches, and other vague symptoms, stop grounding using the outlet. You have to because there may be stray electricity going through your outlet. This earthing cable here is grounded to a separate earthing grounding rod outside with a second cable. So this cable is grounded directly to the earth outside. So you can see that my oscilloscope without connecting to any of these grounding cables is completely flatlined. However, when I touch to this cable that is grounded by the outlet, by the outlet that this outlet checker is actually saying that it's properly grounded, there are high frequency harmonics and current running through this earthing cable. This is what people refer to as dirty electricity. Now these high frequency harmonics, depending on how they are, what's the pattern, what's the actual current behind these frequencies, can either be not a problem or can actually be a problem for some people. As a physician, I've been monitoring this earthing and grounding forum for over five years. And there are a significant number of people who try to earth and ground using the outlet and what they have discovered are vague symptoms like headaches and insomnia and body aches and even heart palpitations. If you are earthing and grounding using the outlet and you have any of those symptoms and people are telling you it's detox or herxing, stop. If it's truly detox or herxing, which I'm not convinced clinically that that is possible, but let's say it is, it should only last less than a week. But if the symptoms persist or they get worse, stop. But as a clinician, I have never felt herxing or detoxing, even in my most toxic state when I earth and ground, because I've always used mainly a rod outside to earth and ground. But I'm also knowledgeable enough to check the outlets to make sure that there's not a significant current through the outlet. This outlet, I know, is actually very grounded and actually has an excellent ground. However, even with an excellent ground in a modern home that's built within the last five years, I have stray currents running through my outlet that I can actually measure with an oscilloscope. Now I've tried to ground with the outlet and both my wife and myself and my children do not have problems. So I believe that these frequencies that I'm picking up here are very low. We need more research to determine how these frequencies affect the human body, how intense they have to be and how strong they have to be to affect others. But after speaking and typing messages between Roy Cook, who's a former master electrician, where he said that less than 50% of homes are actually wired correctly, that makes me very concerned because the common ground of the house the common ground that is used by the outlet here, the common ground is shared by all the appliances and all the electrical wiring in our home. That means if there is an appliance that's leaking electricity, meaning that it's shorting into the ground, or if the electrical wirings are causing some kind of short, or if the electrician who wired the home made a mistake and there is actually a live connection between the live wire and the common ground, there are going to be electrical currents running through the ground. And if that runs up to your earthing and grounding products like sheets, mats, and other products, 
That may cause health problems, and that's why people are having trouble. So let's compare this to a ground that is an earthy cable connected to the ground completely outside. The oscilloscope flatlines. With an earthen cable connected to a rod outside, I do not pick up any harmonics, interferences, or extra currents of electricity. It is flatlined. This is what you want, and this is how I earthen ground. I use a grounding rod outside, and I connect my mattress cover that sits underneath a 100% cotton sheet, and I do not pick up straight currents or any harmonics or frequencies or so-called dirty electricity. Again, this is an earthen cable outside to the ground. This is using an outlet of a modern home that is supposed to be properly wired. How about my human body? So it's interesting that the human body also conducts. Because of capacitive coupling, which I cover in a separate video, touch my body to the probe, you can see there's a 60 hertz alternating current running through my body from all the electrical equipment, wiring, lights that are surrounding me. So this is why we earth and ground, because as soon as I earth and ground with this cable that's connected outside, it diminishes the electrical currents that are generated in my body because of extremely low frequency EMFs running at 50 to 60 hertz. It's 60 hertz in the US and 50 hertz elsewhere in the world. If I ground using the electrical outlet, I get a similar result as well. In my home, I get a similar body voltage reduction whether I use the earthing cable outside or an earthing cable connected to the outlet. But because of the harmonics and the extra frequencies that I pick up in the outlet, I'd rather play it safe and actually ground with a earthing rod outside. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you for joining me today. If you have found that this video is helpful, please like, share, and comment. And also remember to subscribe so that you can get my future videos. Until next time, happy earthing and grounding and be safe. Thank you very much.